In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the, Ho this, this communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we gather here on the second or third day of August, as it already goes of two days. The summer's going very fast. We're grateful for the little break in the terrible heat. And we're also this leader of, of the mass. This is the summer passing so fast. I wish it was 11 months. <laughs> but uh, God gives us this grace. Let us ask for the, the ability to recognize his grace in the lessons we learn at the readings and also in our graceful coming together uh, and bring those graces to others. Let us prepare for this mass by asking again for the Lord's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you call us to be your own. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, so often we fail. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, forgive us once again. In your name, send us forth. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lead us, O Lord, to imitate the, con the con constancy of Saint Eusebius in affirming the divinity of our Lord, of, of, our, of your Son, so that by preserving the faith he taught as our, your bishop, we may merit a share in the, ever li in the very life of your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. As Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of, of the commandments in his hands, he did not know that the skin of his face had become radiant while he conversed with the Lord. When Aaron, Dan, and the other children of Israel saw Moses and noticed how radiant the skin of his face had become, they were afraid to come near him. Only after Moses called to him did Aaron and all the rulers of the community come back to him. Moses then spoke to them. Later on, all the children of Israel came up to him, and he enjoined on them all that the Lord had told him on Mount Sinai. When he finished speaking with them, he put a veil over his face. Whenever Moses entered the presence of the Lord to converse with him, he removed the veil until he came out again. On coming out, he would tell the children of Israel that all that had been commanded. Then the children of Israel would see that the skin of Moses' face was radiant. So he would again put the veil over his face until he went to converse with the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. Holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Holy is the Lord our God. Moses and Aaron were among his priests and Samuel among those who called upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. Holy is the Lord our God. From the pillar of cloud he spoke to them. They heard his decrees and the law he gave them. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, I call you my friends, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and, and, out, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Lord. Jesus. In the two readings that we share today, we notice the teaching quality of Moses uh, and, and the difficulty he had with his countenance and, and the like. 
it's good for us to be to see these elements of our faith and we have the leisure to do so during the week but most of us uh, just going on sunday lose the memory of all of this uh, these readings so it's good for us to renew them and to know that moses had his calling by god to begin the kingdom of god jesus then comes and announces the kingdom of god and and is also trying to give us a pattern and a, and a uh, basic coherence in a, an ability to respond so that the kingdom might grow. In all that we do, we're called to grow the kingdom of God. So often we say, oh yes, we, it's very nice, it sounds very nice, but I'm not, too, I'm not much of a builder in image or in reality. <laughs> but uh, it's, that's not, you're missing the point. We oftentimes like to excuse ourselves, you know, when you get a call and you say, oh, uh, you, you, I think this is what the Lord wants me to do. Oh, I can't do that. No, 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 no. We're not building the kingdom when we say no. And it is those inspirations that the Lord needs to draw us into a, a path, a path for walking with him and knowing that he uses us in, in every way. So, to, for example, Matthew gives us the example of a, fellow they're buying a field not too many of us can do that or have had the opportunity of it but we 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 go back and we allow ourselves to be in that um, simplest society uh, where these images were very very commonplace notice how many things that jesus uh, says we can do you know and uh, it, it's marvelous and buying the field and sowing the seed and doing all these things the things we do are also building the kingdom and the more we enter into that uh, calling and the more we realize we're responding to the call the more we're a builder the more that we're we're able to take our place among the saints and walk in that direction so so often i'm talking to people oh i'm not ready for that now <laughs> well when are you going to be ready <laughs> And the invitation comes, and it's not coming through me talking to a person. We're just tr trying to work out a certain circumstance on a given day. But if that's our attitude, to reconsider everything that we, we think we could do and we decide not to do, we're not building. We're not even taking a risk. Imagine buying the field and find that somebody else found the pearl and got it away with it, and he's stuck with a field he doesn't need. You know, it isn't easy following the Lord. We take risks. And in those taking of the risks, the Lord loves us more. The, the, the fact that we'll give him a try. So let us keep that in mind. We don't leave the building of the kingdom to others. It's a daily uh, calling to you and to me. As Moses was talking to the Israelites in, in, in a very primitive situation, they were afraid to go near. It must look ghost-like. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to go near him in that case. But at any rate, that was then, and it was the circumstance then, and it was given to those people to respond. It's also given to you and to me to respond in our times. And Lord knows the kingdom needs attention, and it needs followers, and it needs risks, and it needs goodwill, and it needs the reassurance of each of, each of us walking with the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, the prayer of the faithful. Thank you. I've given him permission to yell out to me. <laughs> when I, okay. So there are other voices we'll, we'll have to heed today. Okay. Okay. Let us offer our prayers of petition to God in heaven who loves us more than we can know. For the church, the body of Christ on earth, may she grow in charity and virtue through the mercy of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For business and government leaders, uh, may, they, may the Lord be their guide in respecting the inherent, the inherent value of every person, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For those who seek, who are sick or troubled, May they be healed and know peace, the peace of mind, through the mercy and compassion of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for our faith community here, 
May the Holy Spirit help us recognize the generosity of God. We pray to the Lord, Lord for the souls of the faithful departed. May they, through the mercy of God, rejoice with all the angels and saints in heaven. We pray to the Lord, Lord and for um, it, it, Hilda uh, Brady, for whom we offer this mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord we now add our own intentions. Merciful Father, hear our prayers and give us what we need to remain close to you at all times. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands has made. Let it become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Lord God, we ask you to receive us, to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, watch over my iniquities, send me from my Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice for your name, for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and the world of the Holy Church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful workings of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was just, justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed, blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy, you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also the, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ you said to your apostles i leave you peace my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be always with you. With Let us pause to share with one another the peace of Christ. Peace be with you all. Thanks, Lord. Lamb of God, Take Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us all go in peace. Thanks be to God. Now the final prayer. Let us pray. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him as we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the Holy Spirit, out of the world, seeking his own souls. The Memorare. Remember, O most precious Virgin Mary. It never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your help or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word and Connor, despite our petitions, that in your mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Lady of, 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 of Lords, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Have a good day, everyone. Enjoy this gift of summer.